This is the most significant week in all of history. And it's so remarkable to think of the Jewish traditions and feasts that were preparing them for this week. And so, of course, what you have is Passover has started. Mm -hmm. And the very first day of Passover, the family is asked to bring a lamb into their home and see that it's without blemish and become close to that lamb. So the Savior has entered into Jerusalem, paralleling just as those families were bringing the lamb into their homes. And here it is, the fourth day of Passover. They've spent time with that lamb. The Savior's taught in the temple. In some ways, he's been questioned, right, scrutinized. And here he asks for the Passover meal to be prepared. And then he says this beautiful words, I have wanted to have the Passover with you. I've been yearning to have this Passover with you before I make this offering. And so here we are, the Passover feast that the Lord instituted. Of course, Abraham and Adam before him and their wives had been asked to sacrifice. And then here at the time of the Passover, they've been in bondage for 400 years. And the Savior says, I will liberate you. And this feast is a symbolic celebration of that liberation. And so all these families, on the night that the Savior has this last supper, this Passover meal, they've all taken the hyssop branch and put the blood of the lamb that they killed on their doorposts. And they have also had bread, we call it matzah bread, mm -hmm. the unleavened bread that is symbolic of the fact that they had to leave so quickly they could not let their bread rise out of Egypt. And then they've added wine, grape juice, as a symbol of joy to this feast. And so these three parts, the bread will be there, the blood of the lamb, and of course this wine and the bitter herb that they were also asked to have as a symbol of this bitterness of bondage in Egypt. And so this feast is prepared and here the savior comes and he's going to have this, this last supper with his apostles. 